Hello everyone and welcome to a Rebus Gaming. We've got some more lightning returns here for you and this is a Luxurian side quest called Get the Girl. And the way that we get this one is we go to the Warrens and we find Lackley. He's a guy sat down with a load of beer bottles around him. Hey little missy, how about a drink? Looks like you've already had enough for both of us. <laughs> Not by half. I'm just barely getting started here. You want to know why? Ask my dearly departed fiance. She left me standing there like a fool at the altar. Do you really blame her? Who wants to marry a drunkard? You got it all wrong, honey. I started drinking after she left me. Everything has gone downhill since then. You probably won't believe me when I tell you, but I used to command a whole legion of the Order's finest men. Those days, I was on top of the world. Nothing could bring me down. Then why did your fiancé leave you? You must have some idea. Not even the foggiest. Me and Filiana. We were so in love! Or so I thought. Then she disappeared and never came back. She disappeared out of the blue? Are you sure something didn't happen to her? You did look for her, didn't you? Oh, of course I did. From the palace in Yuznan to the edge of the wildlands. I searched for decades. But I never even heard a whisper of Filiana. <laughs> and when I described her, no one had ever even seen her pass through. My Filiana was a looker. No one could have forgotten seeing her. We were the happiest two people could be. But then, I crashed down from heaven to hell. There's no salvation to be found in this world. No God or Savior to deliver us. And if there's no salvation, then there's no hope. Can you honestly tell me that I'm wrong? Show me. Show me where there's any hope in this place. What? You're gonna find my Filiana for me and prove me wrong? I'd be willing to at least try. If there's still hope in this world, it has to be found. You have to look for it. Ha! You're a tough chick with a good heart. Thanks for offering. That's good enough for me. I said I was willing to try, and I meant it. Where was the last place you saw what was certainly your better half? You're actually going to go find her? Filiana and I both lived in Yusnan back in those days. She was a fantastic cook. Her skills got her a job at a swanky restaurant where all the foodies went. Did you check out the restaurants in Yusnan? It's possible she's working in one. Oh, you don't get how desperate I was back then. I checked every lead I could get my hands on, but I found nothing. I'll go back and check them again. What? You will? You would do that for a stranger? I, I don't know what to say. Here, take this with you. Matching rings. Seeing it just reminds me of her, but I don't have the courage to throw it away. Right, so what we need to do is we need to Hello, travel welcome. to Yusnan, hmm. and we want to talk to the banquet maitre D. You. Word of our shop's special flavor has quickly spread through word of mouth. This city is known for its gourmet restaurants, but none can hold a candle to the chefs we have assembled in our kitchens. Best chefs in the city, huh? Lackley mentioned his missing fiance was a great cook. I wonder. Ma'am, is there something I can help you with? I hope so. I'm looking for someone by the name of Filiana. According to her fiance, she was a fantastic cook. Does this ring look familiar to you at all? Oh, yes, yes, of course, I recognize that. The woman was a wonderful cook indeed. Though the strange thing is, I never knew her by the name of Filiana. She may have assumed another name. Was the woman you knew beautiful enough to turn the head of every man in the room? Hmm, now, this is taking quite an odd turn. She was no doubt a very handsome woman, but very advanced in age. I suppose she must have been beautiful enough to turn heads once, but she was undeniably an old woman. Of course, we are all old now that we don't age, but she must have been quite elderly already when time stopped for all of us. An old woman? I suppose that can't be Lackley's lost fiancé, but where is she now? I'm afraid I don't know. The lady in question fell ill and left our restaurant. I believe she moved to Luxarian to live with the support of an old friend there. Do you know how to reach her? Or that friend of hers. Unfortunately, I don't know that woman's name or anything else about her. I saw her only once. 
She was a young woman, and if I recall correctly, wearing a rather unusual hat. Perhaps she was her daughter. I see. Thanks for your time. You've been a great help. Lackley's ring ended up on the finger of a beautiful but old woman somehow. It's possible Filiana sold the ring. I'm not looking forward to telling Lackley about it, but he deserves the truth. He needs to know. Upon the conversation ending, we want to return back to Lackley to give him the bad news. You really should know your limit. Lackley. Hey, wake up. Excuse me, but who are you? And how is it you know Lackley? I don't know him too well, but he asked me to find his lost fiance. I've come to tell him about this lead I've found. About Filiana? But where did... At a restaurant in Nusan. Apparently, there was an old woman working there who wore the same ring that Lackley gave to his fiance. And when her health failed, that woman went to stay with a friend who lived in... Huh. What? What is it? Is there something wrong with my hat? According to the man I talked to at the restaurant, the friend who came to pick up the elderly lady was wearing an unusual hat. You seem familiar enough with Lackley. You also knew Filiana's name. Was it you? Let me explain. Lackley and Filiana and I are friends from long ago. I'm Sila. And yes, I'm the one who escorted that old woman from the shop in Yusan. Care to tell me why? Sure, but can we go elsewhere? I don't want Lackley to hear this. There's a graveyard with no name. You know of it, don't you? It's beyond North Station, on the outskirts of town. <laughs> oh. oh, good. He's still sleeping. Come to the graveyard later so we can talk. Right, so we need to just go to the graveyard and we end up finding out that, unfortunately, Lackley's wife Thanks for coming. has passed Before away. Before I tell you anything, can you promise you won't pass this information on to Lackley? That depends on what you have to say. <sighs> I suppose that's fair enough. I hardly know where to begin, though. Um... How about I start, then? The old woman working at that restaurant in Yusnan had the same ring as Lackley's, the same as his fiancé's. Why? For the most obvious reason, of course. That old woman was none other than Filiana, the person Lackley's been trying so hard to find. After she left him, she began working under a fake name. That's surprising. The way Lackley described her, well, she's not what I expected. He wasn't lying. She was a real beauty, once. We don't know how or why, but something happened to her. In this world where everyone stopped aging, she was the one and only person who managed to grow old over the past years. It began right around the time she and Lackley first got engaged. But why? Why would it be possible for one person alone to escape the stasis in this world? And are you saying that's why she left Lackley and disappeared from his life? She said the last thing she wanted to do was become a burden to him. But I know she missed him. She always wanted to know how he was doing. She loved nothing more than hearing stories about him, no matter how banal they were. Back when she could still walk, she told me how she would sometimes pass by him in the streets. She never said anything to him, and he never could have guessed that the old woman he saw was his beloved fiancé. That's why he never found her after all this time, no matter how hard he searched. Yes. Year after year, she aged more and more, and her body began at last to fail. She's free from that pain now. Finally. I see. I'm glad she was able to find peace. No! No. Lackley! I wouldn't have cared how old my Filiana looked! I loved her with every fiber of my being! My only wish was to spend every day with her until the end of the world! Filiana, why did you have to... No! Lackley. Lackley. Sila, I don't want you to worry about me. Remember what you told me before, when we met? If there's still hope in this world, maybe I'll find Filiana, right? Yeah, I remember saying that. So now I've just proven there's no hope. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying I need to find my own hope for me. I can't wait around for any god or savior. And even if my hopes get dashed, or they never 
come true. At least in my heart, I'll know she's watching over me from somewhere. I'm done being a fool who runs to the bottle every time something goes wrong. That's not me. I want to show Filiana wherever she is that I'm still the man she fell in love with, the man I used to be. That's what she would want. Could you give me that ring? Here, thank you. You've... <laughs> you've helped me find some hope of my own while I was supposed to be looking for yours. Right, so that's quest complete. Not the most pleasant of quests, to be honest. But you don't have to get some gil for it. 2250 and some more. It starts 42 and 6. Can't really complain there. So I hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you on the next one.